Welcome back to the channel. Today I've brought important questions and answers from the poem My Mother Read 66 by Kamla Das. We'll be dealing with theme, central idea and title also. Let's get started with the question answers. But before that, these are the two videos that have already been uploaded. The last lesson, explanation, quick summary and important expressions from examination point of view and detailed explanation along with literary devices of the poem My Mother Read 66. So watch both these videos. Links are given in the description box. In the description box, I'll be adding all the videos related to these chapters. So do take, check out description box every time you watch a video. Now, we move on to the important questions. There are 15 questions. Revising these 15 questions, you will be able to answer any type of the question, whether it is an extract or an MCQ based question. So let's dig in. The first one, where was the poet driving to? Who was sitting beside her? The poet Kamla Das was driving to the airport to board a flight to Cochin from her parents' home. Her mother was sitting beside her in the car to see her off. Next one, what did the poet notice about her mother? During their way to the airport, the poet chanced a look at her mother, who was dozing with her mouth open. The poet noticed her pale, ash-like face, which seemed lifeless like that of a corpse. Her mother had weakened due to age, and that debility was showing on her face. The poet was pained to realize that her mother had entered the last leg of her life. So, poet jo hai, uska ek tam se dhyan jata hai apni mother ke face pe. So, while she was sleeping, so her mouth was wide open. So, at that time, she felt so pale, ash-like, and her body felt lifeless like that of a dead body. So, this pained the poet a lot. Next, what is the significance of the comparison when the poet compares her mother's face to that of a corpse? Now, this is a very unlikely comparison. The comparison highlights the febrile physical state of the poet's mother. Her pale, ashen face while she is sleeping is equated to the lifeless face of a corpse. This comparison accentuates the pain and agony of the poet as she is reminded that her mother may not live long. It also brings forth the transitory nature of human life and that death is a reality. So, a dead body ke face ke saath comparison jo hai, wo reader ko dikhata hai ke poet jo hai usko kitni pain hui hai, kitna dard mehsoos hua hai, ye soch ke ke uski mother jo hai, she has entered the last leg of life. So, it accentuates the pain that the poet is going through at that time. Question number four. What thought was troubling the poet? What did she do to put that thought away? The poet was troubled by the thought that her mother had aged and had entered the last leg of her life. She was traumatized to see her mother lying lifeless like a corpse beside her. The poet could not hold on to such depressing thoughts for long. So to put them away, that is to divert her attention, she looked out of the window to the world outside. Now what she saw in the world outside, that is the next question. Fifth one, what does the poet notice in the world outside? What does she want to convey through the image of young trees and children? The poet notices a contrast between her old and debilitated mother sitting beside her in the car and the young and youthful world outside. She notices the trees moving at a very fast pace past them. So this is due to relative motion. The fresh, green and young trees seem to be filled with vital energy that refuses to expend. She then glances at the children running out of their homes, abounding in zeal and vigor as they begin their life journey. So, what trees ko dekhti hai? Trees jo hai, wo tezi se piche ki taraf bhaag rahe hai because the car is moving, speeding ahead. So, usse lagta hai ki jo trees hai, young, fresh, green trees, itni energy se, <laughs> sorry, itni energy se bharpoor hai ki wo energy kabhi khatam hi nahi hogi. So, that energy which refuses to expend. And then she watches those children pouring out of their home with zeal, with enthusiasm. So they are stepping into the life ahead. They're beginning with the life journey ahead. So dono hi ye jo images hai, uski mother, jo ki still motionless, uske saath bethi hai, uske saath ek tam opposite hai, contrasting hai. So both the images, they are in sharp contrast to her still weak and old mother whose end is near. 
These images aggravate her pain and fear of losing her mother. Sixth one. What did the boy do after the security check? To divert her gloomy thoughts related to her aging mother, the poet looked out of the window to the world outside. The outside world presented a contrasting picture to him. Sorry, to her. Thinking of the brevity of life, she reached the airport and after the security check, she again looked at her mother. So, to bid goodbye to her. So, this time she seemed to be wan and pale like the late winter's moon and the poet is once more reminded of her mother's approaching death. So, the second time when he looks back, so usse uski mother fir se pale, wan and pale nazar aati hai and this time she compares, she seems to be like late winter's moon. Now, why did the poet compare her mother's face to a late winter's moon? Winter is usually associated with gloom, death and end. It marks the end of seasons and the year also. Also, a winter moon is not as bright as it is in summer. The fog and mist makes it appear hazy. Thus, when the poet compares her mother's face to a late winter's moon, she points at the dull, grey and pale look on her face, on her aged face, indicating her impending end. Eighth one. What was the poet's childhood fear? During her childhood, the poet was haunted by the fear of losing her mother one day. As a child, she would never leave her alone. She had always dreaded the thought of being separated from her mother. What does the smile of the poet in the end signify? The smile of the poet shows her struggle to hide her pain by putting on a brave face. As an adult, she has learned to mask her emotions. She doesn't want her mother to see her in anguish. The smile also serves as a reassurance of meeting her mother again. It is a hope against hope. She fears that she may not see her mother again. So, the smile hai, wo uski pain ko daba rahi hai, uski pain ko chipa rahi hai. And kahi na kahi wo smile ek assurance bhi de rahi hai that maybe she'll meet her mother soon. Jabki usse pata hai ke it might not be possible because her mother has aged. Next one. What emotions of the poet are highlighted in the poem? A sudden realization that her mother is getting old and may not live long overwhelms the poet. She is saddened at the thought of losing her mother. The poem describes her fear, helplessness, hope, nostalgia and longing amidst the inevitability of death. The emotions of love and bonding between the mother and the daughter are also highlighted through the fear of a daughter, of the daughter of losing her mother. So, all mix of these emotions. <laughs> now, 11th one. What provides a universal appeal to the poem? The poem My Mother at 66 deals with a very relatable theme of aging. It is a natural process and no one can escape it. Describing her pain and fear on realizing that her mother may not live long, Kamla Das speaks about this uncertainty in every relationship. The way the poet picturizes her mother resembles any other aged person. Readers can identify with the agony and apprehensions shared by the poet for her loved one. So in this case, it is the mother. So therefore, all this provides it a universal appeal. Twelfth question. The poet looks out of the window to divert her attention. Does the world outside provide relief to the poet? The poet looks out of the window to divert her attention. She is disturbed by the thought of losing her mother. Looking out of the window, she sees young green trees racing past their speeding car. So that is relative motion. And happy children pouring out of their homes. This creates a contrast between the still pale and debilitated mother lying by her side in the car and the exuberance and zeal of the young who have a long way to go. So that long way is life ahead. No, the world outside doesn't give any relief to the poet. Rather, she becomes even more distressed to see the withered condition of her mother as compared to the youthfulness and vigor of the world outside. So she looks outside to divert her attention, but when she finds the outside world is youthful, there's vigor, there's energy, so she is again distressed and disturbed. Thirteenth, what purpose is fulfilled by the contrast created by the poet in the poem? 
the frail and debilitated condition of the poet's mother is enhanced through this comparison. Ek taraf youthful, bachche hain, trees hain, young and green, aur ek taraf old mother hai poet ki. So when such a comparison is made, the debilitated condition, the physical state of the mother, it is enhanced. So that is why this is the purpose of the comparison. So the motion of the trees, the trees sprinting as it is in the poem and the children spilling with energy. So this is contrasted to the still and motionless body of the mother. It brings forth the picture of an old woman who is weakened due to age as compared to the young who are brimming with life. Now 14th. In the poem, the poet's emotions oscillate between fear and assurance. Discuss. A chance look of the poet at the pale and ashen face of her mother in the car shudders her to the core. The fear of uncertainty grips her. She witnesses a death-like stillness in her mother. She turns away from this painful thought to reassure herself. So, those painful thoughts se dusri taraf turn kar jati hai to divert her attention aur apna dhyan batane ke liye aur thodi si reassurance jo hai hasil karne ke liye. She doesn't let that fear become obvious on her face. She is reminded of her childhood fear and realizes that it may become true as her mother has entered the last leg of life. Lekin usse fear wahi dhyan a jata hai. Wo childhood fear jo hai, wo surface kar jata hai. And once again, she fears that she might lose her mother. She doesn't want to leave with this distressing thought and thus tries to comfort herself with a hope to see her mother soon. So, is disturbed thoughts ke saath wo waha se nahi jana jati. She doesn't want to board the air, airplane with these thoughts. Fir, apne aap ko comfort karne ke liye, she bids farewell saying those parting words, see you soon, Amma. So, she then tries to hide this upheaval of emotions behind a smile. So, her emotions, they are oscillating between fear and assurance throughout the book. Now, the 15th question, what do the parting words of the poet signify? The parting words of the poet, see you soon, Amma, they are wrapped in irony. The daughter is not able to accept that her mother has aged and her end is near. She cannot imagine her separation from her mother. She knows that her mother may not live long by the time of her next visit. This has made her anxious. But she doesn't want her mother to notice her worry and make her conscious of her impending death. Thus, these warm words with a smile to hide her pain intend to calm her of her anxieties, providing her with a hope to meet her mother on her next visit. So again, there is mix of emotions. She doesn't want to accept that her mother has aged and she may lose her. But then she also knows that it is a natural death. It is a natural process. It has to come. So therefore, she is anxious, but she doesn't want to leave and show that anxiety to her mother. And therefore, there was warm words and smile in the end. Now, we move on to the title. The title, My Mother at 66, gives the true idea of the poem. In the poem, the poet doesn't only talk about the age of her mother, but also her physical condition during that time. A chance look at the morbid, pale and ash-like face of her mother makes her realize how time has flown by and her mother is no longer young. Her condition at this stage brings back her childhood fear of losing her. Through her mother, Kamla Das explores the vulnerability of man as he ages and the associated worry of loss and separation with it. So mother is at the center, therefore my mother at 66 title is justified. Now the theme. The poem My Mother at 66 penned by Kamla Das highlights the theme of aging, love, pain of separation and inevitability of death. A painful realization that her mother is aging and that she may not live long preoccupies her as she looks at her pale and exhausted mother by her side. Her childhood fear of losing her mother haunts her once again, but as an adult she now understands that separation due to death is a stark reality. The poem narrates the emotional upheaval of a daughter. Sorry, the emotional upheaval a daughter goes through on realizing that her mother has entered the last leg of her life. And sometimes embracing this fact with a smile is the only thing within your means. So this is the theme of the poem. Now 
Next, I'll be bringing up question and answers of the next chapter, the last lesson. So what you have to do, you just need to stay with me. So subscribe to the channel and happy watching.